There are five triggers that connect the timing of a workflow action to the timing of something the client does. These client progress triggers watch for a specific action from your client, like submitting a form, making a payment, or signing a contract. The trigger after contract is signed by client will watch for a client's signature on the official contract in their project and run the workflow action when the contract is signed or a specific amount of time after the contract is signed. If you want an action to happen immediately after the contract is signed, set the number of days, weeks, or hours on this trigger to zero. If you want to add some delay relative to when the contract is signed, you can specify how much time should pass after the contract is signed before this action will run. This concept applies to all relative triggers. When a form is sent through the workflow, you can set a future action to trigger when that same form gets completed. The after form is completed trigger works on subagreements, questionnaires, and proposals to help you thoughtfully space out a series of emails and documents. When you select this trigger, an additional field will appear where you'll need to identify the specific form Dubsado will watch. The only options available here will be forms previously sent through the same workflow. After form is completed should not be used to trigger the very first action in a workflow. That's where you should select after workflow started or after all previous actions complete. The after form is not completed trigger will track how long a client has had access to a form without completing it. Once a specific amount of time has passed, the workflow action will run automating the task of following up. If the client completes the form before the deadline, the action will not run. Just like after form is completed, when you select this trigger, an additional field will appear where you'll need to identify the specific form to watch. This works on subagreements, questionnaires, and proposals. However, the form in question must have been sent previously through the same workflow. After form is not complete is the only negative trigger available. We do not currently have triggers for when a contract is not completed, an invoice is not completed, or an appointment has not been scheduled. The trigger after invoice paid in full will run an action relative to when the entire balance of the primary invoice on the project is paid. This trigger works for payments made through a payment processor or applied manually. This trigger is not compatible with recurring invoices. It will only watch the primary invoice on the project. The trigger after scheduled payment is completed will tell an action to run relative to when a specific payment is made on the primary invoice. If you plan to use this trigger, you must first select a payment schedule template at the top of the page. Then you'll be able to select the trigger after scheduled payment completed when you're setting up a specific action. Be sure to identify which scheduled payment you want this action to be dependent on. There's a lot to consider when you use after scheduled payment is completed, so you'll need to plan and test your specific scenario thoroughly. Stay tuned for more information in the unit on advanced workflows.